All right, another video in our ongoing bucket series. Now this one is going to be how to get bucket installed on a Mac. Now the Mac I'm using here, I have a few caveats for you. First is this is an old Mac. It's a power PC based uh, Power Mac G Dual G5. So while it's got a decent amount of horsepower, it is running Tiger and it is power PC based and not Intel based like all the new Macs. So I can't really run bucket and the plugins because the old powers PC uh, Max have not Apple has never seen fit to update Java to the latest version so we are running I think 1.5 version of Java and that works fine for Minecraft and it works for the bucket server but most of the plugins that people are compiling are compiled against the newer uh, Java so they will not work uh, that's not necessarily an issue for all of you out there because I'm sure most of you that have Macs have the later Macs. So I'm going to show you how to get started and how to install Bucket and how to do uh, grab a plugin or two and install them. But uh, I can't really run it. But it's basically this will get you to the point where the other videos that I've done that show how to install plugins and stuff will take over. It's just that you're going to be using your Mac browser whichever browser if you're using Safari if you're using Chrome and you're going to use your Mac text editor uh, I prefer text wrangler I don't know if that's still supported but it's what I have on this old power PC Mac so let's go ahead and get started now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring up a terminal uh, the the um, other caveat that I wanted to mention also is this is a virtual uh, not a virtual machine like my other videos are that so this one the video is going to be a little slow because what I'm basically doing is I have the power PC Mac turned on but I don't have any good uh, screen capture software so I'm actually remotely viewing the screen of my Mac here on the Windows machine so the screen redraws are a little slow uh, that has nothing to do with the Mac itself it's just for the fact that I'm sending the desktop over the network alright so this technique I'm going to show you will work fine on any Mac system and this technique will also work for all you Linux users out there who are using Ubuntu, Fedora, um, you know, you name it, Red Hat, whatever you're using the same technique will work. So I am going to have a video that goes into a lot of detail on how to set up a Linux box from scratch running a console based Linux and basically when you're done with that when I'm done with that tutorial and I put it up you'll be able to take a, a box that you have lying around install Linux on it set up your Minecraft server toss it in a closet or put it away somewhere at the computer where it's out of the way and don't, you don't even need a mouse or keyboard on it you're just gonna basically get it installed set it up plug it into your network and put it away and just leave it turned on very similar to what I do here with my Linux server that I have down in the basement that runs 24 7 alright so to simplify this process and not make you have to go to the uh, bucket website and download buck the bucket server and set up some files what I've done is I put a script on my uh, website and this script will work with Mac or Linux so what we're going to do is we're going to run the curl command which basically lets us download from a URL and we're going to do a dash O and that's the dash and the letter O and then we're going to say www.hillsoftware.com slash git bucket alright so now I downloaded a tiny little text file and that text file is just a little script that I wrote so what we're going to do is we're going to do a chmod space plus x and then git bucket now what that does is it makes it so the git bucket file that we just downloaded from my website is executable and we're going to run it and it's going to go ahead and it's going to download the bucket server and this takes you know a few seconds and it's going to basically create a directory called minecraft in your home directory and it's going to put the bucket server so here we are inside the minecraft directory there's the bucket server and it's already created a little batch file called go a little script that you can use to run it so we're going to do dot slash go 
and here you can see Bucket has started up. So literally with just a few quick commands on the Mac or if you want to do this on Linux just boot up Ubuntu or whatever you're using go to your terminal and run the commands as shown we're going to have a working server. Now we're going to let this run and let this get installed. Alright, so what I've done is I've um, waited for the server to start and uh, create the spawn areas. I went ahead and stopped it and restarted it just so you could see that as before in, in our previous video the first time you run buckets you get those warnings about files not, that are not created but now uh, it's running cleanly and uh, because the files have been created and if we go to our home folder and we go to Minecraft you know we can see all those files are there alright so obviously from this point forward you can follow my previous videos on setting up a bucket server and, and the plugins even though they're Windows based you're going to use the same technique you're going to use your browser be it Safari, Chrome, Firefox, whatever you like download the plugins copy them into your on your hard drive your home folder the minecraft directory put the plugins in here you're going to use your favorite text editor uh, i recommend you uh, be very careful if you're using whatever text editor that you realize for the yml files you need to not use tabs and use spaces so if you have a text editor that is capable i recommend going into the settings and changing it so that tabs are replaced by spaces much like I did on Notepad++. It'll make your life a lot easier. Now just so you can see, let me try to go into Minecraft here and let's try to connect to our server. You can see it's not connecting so we're going to cancel that. The reason it's not connecting is we have our Apple firewall turned on. Now I can't guarantee that the firewall settings are exactly the same on later versions of Mac OS so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our system preferences, we're going to go to sharing, we're going to go to the firewall, and we're going to add a new rule. And we're going to go down and pick other, and we're going to say the default port of 25565, 25565. So we're going to put 25565 for both TCP and UDP, and we're going to call it Minecraft. Now again, this is just for the server on this OS X machine to allow uh, systems to connect to the server. If you're just running the regular Minecraft client and connecting to other servers, you don't need this. But if we're going to run a server, we've got to make sure our firewall is open. Alright, so now we've opened it. Let's go back to Minecraft, hit connect, and you can see we're in. This is the spawn point, and you can see we can break blocks because we made ourselves an op earlier. We'll disconnect from that. So there you go. So you can see how easy it is with a with an OS X machine uh, or even a Linux box. Just boot up your your uh, Mac or your Linux machine, run the uh, curl to download my script. Run the script. It'll it'll download and set up the initial directory and give you a, a file to launch the bucket server. Run that. You got your bucket server running then just follow my previous videos and even though they're Windows based the process is identical it's just the tools that you use to download with and to edit the files everything else is the same